My dear friends, miracle is not the end. It's a help to get, it's a sign to get into your the proper direction. Gospel of John beautifully says, miracles are signs. Signs. It's a sign which shows the end. So it's a journey. What is important is that you, you journey in the wilderness. God has taken Israelites in the wilderness for 40 years. There was a shortcut to the promised land, but yet God wanted them to go in that testing time, testing period. So, so that we have to have faith in that testing time. You have to have that belief that God will definitely do the best in my life. So that trust will take you through the journey to the hard part of your life. That's important. So listen to what the Holy Spirit says. If only you would hear voices, God's voice today, you do not be stubborn as they were in the place called rebellion. When your ancestors challenged me in the desert, although they had seen my deeds for 40 years, this is why I was angry with those people and said, their hearts are always going astray and they do, they do not understand my ways. I was angry, angry and made a solemn vow, they will never enter my rest. So it's, if you want to have that rest, you have to go through the mill, go through the desert. There's no other way. We find this beautiful person, interesting person, this leper, was suffering with leprosy. So when the priest identified, diagnosed him as a, as a leper, he has leprosy, they will chase them away from the society. They will isolate them, quarantine them. So that's his wilderness. So what had happened to this person? Leprosy comes with a bacteria, microbacterium leprae. And uh, it makes you numb, you physically numb. So even the pieces of your body will uh, melt and fall. You don't feel it. So you're, you're, you're deadly numb. But then this leprosy made him sensitive. Not numb, physically numb, but spiritually sensitive. It's beautiful, my dear friends. That, that's why he comes. The leper came to Jesus and begged him. He knelt before him and begged him. See his faith. What kind of a strong faith? He has never let God leave him in his thoughts. Even though he, has to, he had to go through terrible pain, agony, torment. Yet he believed only Jesus has the answer. And if he believed, even though he performed that miracle or not, it does not matter. So his love and his faith is unconditional. As Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, when King Nabuchadnezzar asked, wanted them to worship that king's statue, that idea, they said no. Even though you, even the, even the flame consumes us, we are not going to worship because it's ideal worship. So that's that kind of a faith. This person comes to Jesus and says, if you want to, you can make me clean. So he believes he has the answer. Do you really believe in your life that only he has the answer? If you believe, you can heal me. If you, if you, if you, if you want, you can heal me. So he believes he can. And also at the same time, he surrenders himself to heal or not to be healed? She says immediately, my dear friends, move with pity. He stretched out his hand and touched him and said, I want you to be clean. Exactly. That's exactly what he wants in your life. He never want you to be your slave. So it's a testing time only. But then in the appropriate time, you will enter the promised land. You will enter that rest. That's important. And when he was healed, immediately he got healed. But then in his life, that miracle became more important than Jesus' word. 
he was not obedient. He asked them to go to the priest and offer the appropriate offering. So the priest should uh, recognize him and uh, give the approval that he's now can, he can be in the society again. But Jesus clearly said, don't say, don't spread this news, don't, this is your personal experience. The miracle became, the gift became more important than the giver. He started spreading it all over. What happened? It broke the Lord, damaged the Lord's mission. He could not move freely. The word beautifully says, the man went out, he began spreading the news everywhere so that Jesus could not, could no longer openly enter any town. He could no longer enter. He couldn't do that. He wanted, he should, should have done it. Then he couldn't do that. Because that person's way of, if he had been obedient to the Lord, what a beautiful thing there could be. Every experience is not to be shared, my dear friends. You have to have an inner, inner room, personal experience where with Jesus. So what he tell you personally, you should not tell everyone. Witnessing is another part of life. In the same time, there should be a hidden inner life. As a husband and wife, they don't say everyone out, everything out. They don't tell all of the secrets. They have their secrets. So what is your secret with Jesus? If you don't have any secret with him, there's a problem. And because this man was spreading the news, Jesus could no longer openly enter any town. But even though he stayed in the, even though he stayed in the isolated places, people came to him from everywhere. He had to stay in isolation because he's, he's, he is not here to perform miracles. It's more than that. He wanted to take people in a journey. That's what is important. As I said earlier, miracle is a signpost. It's a symbol sign. It's not the end. You have to move. You have to go beyond the miracle and experience a lot. So be obedient. Have your life with him. Believe him in your difficult time. The Lord will do a wonder, wonderful thing in your life. And stay with him. Hold on to him. And experience his love, my dear friends. Think about it. And have a nice day. May God bless you.